Hi, I'm Brian, Service Manager at Whole Latte Love, and today we're going to talk about adjusting your pre-infusion using the brew switch on your Profitech Pro 700. Cool, I'm excited. All right. <laughs> This is line pressure pre-infusion we're talking about, right, Brian? Yes, line yeah. pressure pre-infusion. You can achieve some slight pre-infusion using just the pressure of your coffee boiler if you're not plumbed in, but you have much better uh, results if you're actually plumbed in. Okay. So, first of all, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about with the pre-infusion, uh, how that correlates with the valves in the group head and the brew switch. I love this cutaway model. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Wish I could take responsibility for this. <laughs> yeah. So, if you'll see here, when you raise the lever, you get into a middle position, this cam is not actually opening either one of the valves. Mm -hmm. So, dropped all the way down, this, these valves are open, and that vents the uh, pressure in the group. Mm -hmm. Middle position, no valves are open. Top position, upper valve is open, allowing the water to run through the mushroom valve into this chamber, up through here, out there and then into your coffee. Mm -hmm. So what we're looking for is a good combination of when this upper valve is opening versus when the brew switch is activating and, and create, causing your pump to run. Okay. Okay. So I'll show you on this machine, we don't have any pre-infusion right now. Let me go up. It's actually really tight. This is something that you don't want to have happen at all. You can see that pump's running and I don't have any water coming out of there at all. Definitely right. need to adjust this. Okay. So what we're going to do is with a 14 millimeter wrench, just going to loosen this nut up in the front here. You don't need to take it all the way off. Just unroll it and if you're looking from the back here, mm -hmm. you see another nut right there. We want to turn the machine off, right? We're doing this? Oh, yes, we do. Good call. I know. You're a pro. I'm a pro. pro. Yep. <laughs> yep. Don't do what I do. <laughs> Lead by example. My kid's going to yell at me when he sees this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll this nut forward, which is going to pull the entire switch backwards. So you're just changing the position of the tip of that switch relative to the kind of cam on the lever there. Exactly. So I'm going to leave it just slightly loose right now. I don't need to go all the way tight. So we're going to check and see if we've gotten the right position. Okay, and she's on. All right, middle position, pump's not activated. And uh, here we go. There we go. Got water running through, and I get all the way up to there before I get it up. So that's perfect. That's what I want to see. You want to be able to have that pre-infusion without the pump coming on. And it's all about change the position of that switch. Exactly. Yeah. So, since we're focusing on the switch right now, I just wanted to mention something real quick. Um, say you have an issue where you're lifting your lever mm -hmm. all the way up and your pump isn't engaging. Uh, there's a couple things that you can check real quick. Sure. Uh, first is to see if you're actually engaging the switch all the way. Because like we said, if we have this in the wrong position, it may go all the way up and not actually be pushing that switch in far enough to activate. So what you can do is take a credit card or a butter knife or something like that and just press in all the way and see if that engages the pump. Mm -hmm. um, if that does not engage the pump, the next thing you're going to want to check is to see if you have an issue with the actual switch. Uh, and that's just using a simple continuity test. So continuity selection on the meter, test the probes, Here's the beep, we know we're working, and we're just going to put one of these on each of the pins, doesn't matter which one, uh, mm -hmm. just make sure you get the two that have the uh, wires connected to them, and then lift your probe, or I'm sorry, lift your lever, or press in on your switch, and listen for that tone. If you get the switch in all the way and you don't hear that tone, it's an indication that this switch has actually failed. Okay. But as you can see, it's a quick and easy thing to replace, so. All right, awesome. Yeah. And that's about all there is to that. And just so we're clear, like you can't do this, this line pressure pre-infusion on, on some machines. Uh, the Proftec, the ECM, uh, plumbed machines, generally can do that? Yes. Uh, so on these systems, the only thing that's preventing the water from coming out of your group head is this lever. When you're plumbed in. Yeah. When you're plumbed in, yep. Right. So 
Uh, on some machines, you're going to have a solenoid in the back that's activated whenever you uh, pull the switch. Mm -hmm. uh, so when your pump kicks on, it'll also open up a solenoid in the back. Uh, so on those machines, the pre-infusion is not going to be achievable this way. But on the Pro 700 or the Synchronica, for example, yes, uh, that's how you would do it. All right, Brian, thanks so much for taking us through that. Yeah, not a problem.